everyone and welcome back to Mitwa where I am Madhuri Masapati, a freedom soul coach who loves to help creatives, coaches and entrepreneurs. But not only these people, all of you guys basically get freedom from burnout and limiting beliefs so that you have the freedom to reconnect with yourself, love yourself and express yourself to the world. Now, today's topic is kind of important uh, because I've heard a lot of variations on this and I've have seen a lot of um, misconceptions around this topic, which is rest is the cure for burnout. Now, let's get this straight, right? Like rest is important. I know a lot of you guys who have been a part of my Instagram or my LinkedIn who know that I love to talk about rest and how important it is. And it is important. It is crucial for us to be able to rest and reset our mind every single day. But there is this misconception, right? Like people think that they can work themselves off. Basically, their brains are kind of melting their you know their efficiency level is at an all-time low but they're still struggling to get their work done and if they do this for five days or six days of the week they can get one day off and they can rest and relax and everything will be fine but the thing about burnout is it is not something that happens instantly right it's something that is accumulated over time it's stress that has been accumulated over time it is literally um Think of it like this, burnout is, you know how we have rocks on river sides, these rocks are smooth, but they must not have been smooth, right? Like we have this concept of water brushing past the rock, smoothing out its surface till it, it has like a smooth surface all over. That's kind of what happens with burnouts as well. Burnouts is not something like, you know, you put a rock in uh, next to a river and hope that it will be smooth the very next second. It won't be. It is stuff that has, you know, the water brushing past the rock has smoothened out its surface over years, not instantly. And burnout is kind of similar to that. You know, it's like stress happening constantly till a point where you can't handle that stress anymore. And it's not just stress, it's different triggers. It's different things that can cause burnout and it is different for every individual. I like to call it a cocktail of triggers. And that cocktail is completely different for every single person. What might be my cocktail of triggers for my burnouts might not be similar to yours. So as I was saying, people think of rest as, you know, working five days or six days a week and taking a couple of days of break but that doesn't help because you're going back to the situation that has caused the burnout in the first place that has caused the stress in the first place right um, it's two days of relaxation and back to the grind and the grind kills you slowly but surely and we have seen this happen a lot of times across a lot of people right people working their asses off pardon my language, but people working their asses off for like 20 years and then, you know, looking back one day and going, what have I been doing with my life? Like, what's the meaning of this? And that is kind of what burnout does. Burnout is crazy. It's something that happens over a long period of time. It's sustained stress. It's sustained cocktail of triggers that eventually mess you up till you are at a spot where you're just like, what is happening? And rest doesn't help it. Let me give you an example as to what I'm talking about, right? Just to have a clearer example around this would be, um, imagine just for the sake of it, you're ice skating out in the cold. It's winter night, you know, it's in minus degrees, let's say. Um, and you're ice skating for God knows what reason in your undergarments. Let's just say, I mean, just imagine, just for the sake of the example, just imagine you guys don't imagine too much but just imagine <laughs> and what happens is you do this for a couple of hours then you start to feel feverish your hands are going numb and what you do is you come back home quickly extremely quickly and you know you you start to heat yourself up warm yourself up so that you don't get hypothermia and um, you know you're fine Okay, it takes a couple of days for you to get out of the fever state. It takes a couple of days for your body to reset into the place that it has been. But if you go outside and ice skate again, and it's still winter, it's still cold, it's in minus degrees, and you're still ice skating outside in your undergarments, you're probably going to feel the same way all over again. 
and you can rest and you can do the cycle all over again right trigger rest trigger rest trigger rest but it's not a cure for burnout you know that rest period will help you feel like yes i am back i am back to my highest level but if you go back to a similar situation that has been causing you the triggers for burnout you're you're still going to get burnt out and you're going to wonder, but I took a break. I, you know, I relaxed. I did all the things that I love to do. Why am I still not over burnout? You know, like, why have I still not overcome it? You haven't overcome it because you're still in the same situation. You're still putting yourself in the same box that causes the burnout for you. You're still drinking the same cocktail of triggers and it's going to cause you burnout, right? So, Rest is not the cure for burnout. Let's get this out there right now. Rest is like taking a paracetamol to reduce the fever that you got from ice skating outside in the cold. But if you go back to ice skate in the cold, you're going to get fever again. And it doesn't matter how many paracetamols you take. It doesn't matter how many times you rest and relax. If you're going back to the same situation, if you're not changing anything about your situation or how you handle it, then you're going to get burnt out eventually, right? So here's the deal. Rest and relaxation is important. I'm not asking you to ignore it altogether. It's a great way to reset your mind. It's a great way to let go of that stress so that you, know, you work again at a higher efficiency. And it's a great thing. Like I do it all the time. I reset myself almost five to 10 times a single day so that I don't get stressed out and have different ways of doing that. Something which I am going to do in Identity, which is a new app for self-development. It's a habit tracker. It's a great place for coaches to help the people that they want to help. And I'm going to be there guiding you on how you can reset yourself. I'll be holding you accountable for that. And again, it's a great way to get rid of the stress, but it won't, it's just a paracetamol, right? So you need to work harder than that. You need to keep working on changing your surroundings or how you deal with it. Otherwise you're going to get burnt out, but it's a great first step. It's a great way to transition from the known state of being burnt out to the unknown state of overcoming it, which is a scary journey. And I, I hear you, it's scary, it's... It's like, what is going to happen to me? What am I going to do? Uh, this is, you know, a whole new pattern. This is a whole new journey that I'm taking. And I don't know if I like it, if I won't like it. So resetting yourself is a great way to kind of experience what I'm talking about and how important rest and resetting yourself is. But once again, not the cure for burnout. Okay. If you're excited though, if you're excited to reset yourself every single day so that you can work at a higher efficiency level, so that you can figure out solutions to the environment that you are in or the situation that you are in that is providing you with the cocktail of triggers, that's a great way. And I invite you, I sincerely invite you to join Identity, join my tribe and see where we can go from it. It's going to be amazing. Um, there is going to be a lot of things that you will learn about yourself and how you can create new solutions to overcome trigger your cocktail of triggers and overcome burnout. I hope this resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this. Let me know if you like the analogies that I shared with you around burnout and around rest and how it is not the cure for burnout. If you did like share subscribe see you in the next video bye